Hey, how you doing? So listen, I know most of us have medicine in the house, whether it be ours, our spouses, our parents, our grandparents, or even our kids. We definitely have medicine in the house. But what are you doing that medicine expires? What do you do with it? Well, I got a story right here that's going to tell us what we do with medicine once it expires. So hang in there, because here we go. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again, and welcome back to the show. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, hope to just find everybody safe, healthy, and in good spirits. And remember, if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. This way, you know, the next time I come out with a video, and a thumbs up always helps. I appreciate that. All right, hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everything has been well for you guys. Um, always appreciate you coming by, hitting your um, thumbs up buttons. Definitely like your, your um, comments. Keep the comments coming. Appreciate that. All new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And everybody's been with me for a while. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. So listen, today I want to talk about a story about our medicine, okay? Um, a lot of us take medicine. A lot of our spouses take medicine, grandparents, parents, kids, whatever the case may be. But we definitely have medicine now. Even if it's Tylenol or whatever the case it is. What do you do when it's bad? What should you do when it's bad? I mean... Most of us probably have an idea what to do, but what's the proper way? I got a story here. I'm going to tell you about it. And this way, you know what you do with your medicine next time. The right way to dispose of old medicine. You more than likely have a cabinet full of expired and unused medicines in your home. And if you do, it's time to get rid of them. It's important to dispose of unused medicine because what's good for you can be harmful to someone else. According to the U.S. Food Drug Administration, there are a number of take-back programs sponsored by the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration where you can find a DEA-authorized collector near you to dispose of any old medication safely. It's all about your comfort, and everyone has their preference. So if you want to cut out the middleman, you can go ahead while adhering to precautionary measures right from the comfort of your home. Not only is properly disposing of old expired medication a health and safety issue, but is also an environmental matter according to Very Well Health. If you don't get rid of medication properly, you can unintentionally create a health hazard for you, your family, visitors, and pets because they are considered toxic household hazardous waste. But don't worry, you come to the right place, and we're going to tell you how to get rid of your medicine. There are two proper methods of getting rid of old medication at home. One of them, they're flushing down, you can flush them down the toilet and throwing them away with your household trash. Those are the two things. You want to flush them down the toilet, you want to draw me a trash can. It's up to you. Or you can do it right from your house. You don't got to leave the house, you can do it right there. It's recommended to flush old medicine down the toilet because some drugs don't have specific instructions for when they're no longer being used. Flushing them down the toilet is easy and you'll never have to worry about them again. Throw them in the toilet, hit that button, boom, they're gone. They're out of here. You don't got to worry about nobody getting them. When it comes to drawing medication away in the trash, the FDA recommends removing the drugs from their original container and mixing them with non-consumable substances, such as dirt, cat litter, and even coffee grounds. This makes animals or small children around a home less likely to play with it. I really don't think they're going to be playing in your garbage anyway, but this is just another way to keep them away, I guess. Keep the kids away from the garbage anyway. You can seal the mixture in a zipper sandwich bag or container to prevent leakage. It's essential to ensure that there isn't any personal identifying information like your name, phone number, or address before throwing any bottle or container away. So basically, it's all common sense. I mean, maybe we don't know. I mean, some people just don't know. I got some old pills here, um, my mom's pills, my dad's pills, my grandparents' 
I look, they're expired. What am I going to do with them? Don't just take the whole bottle and throw it in the garbage. That's not good. Not a good idea. What I do, and I've always done, and I think is the best way to do it, throw them in the toilet, hit the button, flush them, get them out of there. You know what I'm saying? Um, then they're gone. You don't have to worry about throwing them in the garbage, somebody going through your garbage, the kids, you know, the dog, uh, whatever the case may be. But even if you dump your stuff into the toilet and get rid of it, and if you don't want to put them into the garbage, maybe crush them up, whatever you can do, mix them up with some crap. But when you throw your old bottles away, make sure all your information is off of it. Take your, take your name off it. Take your um address, whatever your date of birth, you might, whatever's on there, just rip it up, you know, crush it up, whatever you can do. These days, there's people out there that get any kind of information they can on you, and... They'll steal your identity. They'll steal your money. They'll take anything they can. Everything we work hard for. Somebody out there is looking for that easy way to get money for themselves. So always make it hard for them. Don't let them get your money. You work too hard for it. All right. So basically, in a nutshell, throw your old medicine. Check your cabinet. See what's in there. See what's going on. Throw the stuff out. Dump it down the toilet. Flush it. Get rid of all your information. Take it off the bottles, paper, whatever you got to do. Throw the stuff in the garbage, whatever you got to get out of there, and you're done. All right? So, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, thanks again for stopping by. More videos coming out there. I'll see you again real soon. Remember, stay safe, stay healthy. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit that bell icon. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And your comments. I always love to hear from you guys. want to make sure you're doing all right. Make sure everything's happening, you know, the way it should be. All right? Take care of yourselves. I'm Matt here. I'll see you next time. Take care.